Ryan, let's be honest here. The numbers, they are shocking. More than a third of American adults and almost 17% of children are obese. Yes, the study just coming out. The Centers for Disease Control releasing these numbers based on a study they did from 2009 to 2010. The good news, those numbers are not up from 2003. The bad news, that is still a whole lot of people who are unhealthy. 78 million adults, 13 million kids are obese. A doctor from the University of Chicago says that means diabetes rates could soar as those populations age. Nick Parker is a fitness expert further breaking down this study. Nick, I have to ask you right off the top, are you shocked by these numbers? You work, you train with people every day. Yeah, no, I'm not shocked by these numbers whatsoever. I mean, we have the same uh, obesity epidemic that we did back in 2003. What exactly is the measure for obesity? There are several uh, ways of measuring out there, and I think people get confused as to what's the most accurate. There is. There's two main measurements. One is BMI, which is body mass index. And body mass index, real quickly, is just uh, your height, your weight, based on a national average, which is not a good indicator because it says that because of the amount of muscle I have, I'm overweight. So it's not a great indicator. Body fat percentage, that is what you want to go by. That's basically telling you how much fat you have as an individual in pounds compared to your weight, and therefore giving you a percentage so you know if you're really overweight or not. Uh, the number for that is men. If you're over 25%, uh, uh, then you're obese. If you're over 32% for female, then you're considered obese according to body fat percentage. Can someone, Nick, be, be fat and not overweight? I mean, you see a lot of thin people People, but isn't the proportion of muscle to fat also important? It is. We call that the skinny fat person. And ironically enough, you can be in a, a smaller size clothes and still be too high as far as body fat percentage. What that means is if you can visualize circles, the outer circle is your uh, total body, and then your inner circle is how much lean muscle tissue you have. You just don't have enough lean muscle tissue, and you have a lot more fat, so you're a little fluffier on the outside, I guess. So <laughs> it's, not, it's only good with baked goods, not right. people. Right. Nick Parker, fitness expert, thank you for coming in. You're welcome.